Allison Parker likes spicy foods and taking vacations with her family. Adam Ward was a conscientious co-worker who would go the extra mile to get the job done. A news team who worked together tragically died together today while on the job. Good evening, Brad is off tonight. Well, you don't have to work in a newsroom to understand the sor sorrow the staff at a Virginia television station is feeling tonight. Two of their friends and colleagues were murdered while on the job and on the air. The person accused of pulling the trigger, a disgruntled former co-worker. Jeff Goldberg from our sister station, WJLA, joins us live from Virginia with a closer look at the young journalists whose lives were cut short. Good evening. Well, Bridgewater Plaza, where this shooting took place earlier today, remains closed off as investigators continue looking into the question of why this happened. The WDBJ live truck used during this morning's broadcast remains parked here in the plaza parking lot as the community continues dealing with the shock and pain. An on-air ambush. Shots fired as WDBJ reporter Allison Parker wrapped up a live interview with photographer Adam Ward. Let us not forget, they grew up in this area. They were part of our community. And Ward was part of finding his own killer. His camera continued to roll after he fell to the ground, capturing images of Vester Flanagan, the man suspected of killing them both, and also identified as a former WDBJ employee who went by the name Bryce Williams on air. Police do not know whether he specifically targeted his former colleagues. Did he know? Uh, before this morning that they would be located at this remote location doing a broadcast. Uh, did he see it? Many saw a Twitter account bearing Williams' name live tweeting the tragedy, including graphic video of the shooting itself, along with claims about his victims. The shooter later captured about an hour outside Washington, D.C., Flanagan dying of a self-inflicted gunshot wound after being taken to the hospital. This gentleman was disturbed in some way of the way things had transpired at some point in his life, it's, it would appear things were uh, spiraling out of control. Flanagan sent a 23-page letter to ABC News saying he was motivated by the racism shown in the recent Charleston church shooting, also expressing admiration for the gunman in both the Virginia Tech and Columbine massacres. But as police further investigate a motive, friends and family of the victims are coping with the loss. Colleagues forced to mourn as they continued covering the news. We're all in a state of shock here. You can hear people behind us in the newsroom crying. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's just really hard to... We're holding to, it back, too. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard to even comprehend. Parker's boyfriend, also WDBJ's evening anchor, tweeted his heartbreak and a picture, calling Allison the most radiant woman he'd ever met, consoling Adam Ward's fiance, who works as a morning show producer at the station. I cannot tell you how much they were loved, Allison and Adam, by the WDBJ7 team. Uh, they both were uh, uh, in love with other members of the team here, and it, our hearts are broken. Vicki Gardner, the tourism official who was being interviewed by Parker and Ward this morning, was also injured during that shooting. She currently remains in stable condition at an area hospital surrounded by family and friends. In Manita, Virginia, I'm Jeff Goldberg reporting live. All right, thank you, Jeff. Well, many people have expressed their condolences and concerns and outrage about the shooting on social media today. Coming up at 6, we will share what some of you are saying, and we are following this all day on Local 12 News and also the CBS Evening News. We'll have a complete wrap-up of today's events.